Hey, this is Jake. I'm a special guest on MacHeads 101. And this Java tutorial we'll be talking about this right here, this import. Import java.lang.math with a capital M. And this allows us to do some more math stuff besides just add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So if you want to start making some programs uh, with some formulas, it's going to help you out a lot. So I'm not really going to be making a program here. I'm just going to be printing out a bunch of um, stuff basically that I'll take a number and use one of the methods on it or some of them don't take any arguments but I'm just going to be printing a bunch of stuff out so it's just not out that print ln and I'm just going to copy and paste this a bunch of times right. we have a lot of methods I'll see if I'm using them all probably going to wind up using more so the first one three I'm going to show you yeah I'm going to be using more um, is math and to use all these you do math dot and pi in caps and that math dot pi um, is just basically you can use that as pi same kind of thing with math dot e and that's e so this would print out pi and it'll print out e and um, math dot random and you put those empty parameters there and that will just print out a random number just out of the blue. Um, math.abs, and I'll put in negative 15. And math.abs gets the absolute value of something. Yeah, I'm going to be going over these real quick. And if you don't know what some of them are, um, just don't worry about it because you're probably not going to be um, using them right now. So uh, I'm just going to go over just what kind of stuff there is in there. So then you have um, math.round, and I'll just put 0 0.6, and that will round, and this is in parentheses, by the way, and that will round 0 0.6, and that should be 1. Um, math.max, and this requires some explaining. Um, you put in two numbers, and it will um, get the highest one, so like 15, 10. And that would do 15, because 15 is higher than 10. And the opposite is math.min. So if I did 15, 10, it would get the lowest of the two, which is 10. All right. Um, next, here, I'm just going to copy and paste this a couple more times. All right. And so now the next one is square um, square root, then I'll do cube root. So math.sqrt, and then we'll get you the square root of something. I'll just put 100, because it's nice and easy. And math.qbrt will be the cube root, and I'll do 64, because that is also nice and easy. So that would be 10, and that would be 4. So square root of 100 and cube root of 64. Math.sine, and I'll just do sine of 10. And of course, if this add, there's also the that cosine, and I'll do that at 10 too. And if there's cosine and sine, is of course tangent. And I'll do the tangent of 10. So to get to use sine, it's math.sine, math.cos, math.tan, if you're going to be doing some trig kind of stuff. Um, there's math.pow, and this takes two things. And this is for exponents. One is your number, so I'll do like 6. And I'll do 2. And what this would do is you take the number 6 and raise it to the power of 2. So the second number is the exponent you're going to put on this number here. So 6 to the power of 2, 6 squared, which is 36. And that's what that'll do. And then um, the last one I'm going to be showing, or last two, are for logarithms. And math.log. And in here, and that's going to be using um, log. The base with just math.log is e, is the base it's going to be using. So I'll just do like math.log12, doesn't matter. And system.out.println, this is the last one, math.log10. And that will be using 10 um, as the logarithmic base. And I'll do 12 again. All right, so let me just review this one more time. Um, math.pi, which is pi, 
math that e, which is e, math that random, which is a random number, math that abs will get you the absolute value, math that round will round a number, math that max will get you the higher of two values, math that min will get you the lower of two values, math dot math dot sqrt will get you the square root of a value, math dot qbrt will get you the cube root of a value. Um, sine will get you the sine, cos will get you the cosine, tan will get you the tangent, um, pow will raise the f first number to the power of the second number, and log will, um, just regular log is with the base of e, and log 10 is with um, uh, a base of 10. So I'm just going to run all this and you'll see. Alright, so that's pi, that's e, that's a random number, that's absolute value of 15, which is 15, it rounded 0 0.6 to 1, it found the greater of 10 and 15, which is 15, then it found the less of 10 and 15, which is 10, it got the square root of 100, which is 10, it got the cube root of 64, which is 4, and that got the sine of 10, the cosine of 10, the tangent of 10. That did 6 squared, which is 36, and that did log 12 with a base of e, and then log 12 with a base of 10. So that is just some stuff you can use. So um, see you next time.